Okay, so big excitement here at the Harn today. We, um, I made a sign that says non-potable water with potable, however you say it. We argue about this occasionally. So this is non-potable water and it works! And we save every drop that we get out of that faucet and use, we'll use that to rinse dishes maybe or something. So because that's non-potable water, we need a way to get drinking water. And this is our system for getting drinking water. This is a Berkey water filter sh system. And this is the Royal unit, which we got on Scratch and Dent for like, do you remember how much? 200, 20, 200 bucks? Yeah, I think it was two. So anyways, um, it has, I don't know if you can see inside there on the top, but it has two uh, carbon filters. And basically you can put four carbon filters in here to get a faster flow rate for filtering your water, but we don't use that much water here. We're pretty water conservative. Um, we did get the new spigot, which does allow you to see what your water level is. And so this morning when we got running water, we soaked our carbon filters and we soaked those for about five, five and a half hours. And um, then we had to run to town, we came back and we installed the two carbon filters and the two plugs. We filled the top portion with water and now the first time you fill this, the Berkey needs to just filter the water through and that'll help kind of flush through the filter units. You dump that first load of water and then after that we'll be able to fill this top portion and have good drinking and cooking water for um, and brushing your teeth water and things like that for our household use. But this water we can use for washing dishes. We also have now a running shower. We'll get to that in just a sec. Okay, we do have running water here also, but since I am fully clothed right now, I'm not going to turn that on to show you. But you can see there's quite a bit more um, water drop it units here. And this thing is kind of like standing under um, a trickle of raindrops. But it has been a good place for me to shower and get cleaned up in the um, interim before we got running water. But we are going to do now our ceremonial removal of the camp shower because we have running water now. So let's see if I can get my Twinkies in there. Ah, I can't wait to take a nice hot shower under real water pressure. 